going to show you how to write um, internet articles for this specific group that they call Priority Auto Team. And this is one of the groups you're going to join once you start writing regularly on, on textbroker.com. Because when these articles pop up, let's say you write them, and if the um, client likes your style of writing, they will automatically uh, request for you to join the team. You can also manually join the team by like going to the forum and requesting it. But anyway, I'm going to demonstrate how I write a priority auto team article. And since they only 150 words, then this should be really quick. I wrote other articles in the past and I got whole videos lasting for hours writing like, you know, um, 2,000 word articles. But I decided to just go ahead and do something short that's quick and easy, straight to the point. Now, let me go ahead and choose which, um, which article I'm going to do. Um, I seen one for the Toyota camera. Yeah, let's do that one. All right. So we're going to click on it and I'm going to read the description of what the client wants. Um, in fact, you know what? I don't have to read the description. I'll do it after the video. Fair enough. Let me just go ahead and demonstrate how I actually write it. So first thing I want to do is copy and paste the directions. That's what I do. All right. And I like to write my articles. In fact, no. Nah, I'm not going to write my articles in Google Docs like I normally do. What I'm going to do is just write it straight into Text Broker. All right. So um, the first thing I need to do is copy and paste this link so I can learn about the Toyota Camry design features. It's a 2019 version, as you can see. So what we're going to do is scroll down and click. I want to write this article. Bam. Once you do that, then you proceed to write the article. You got For this specific order, you got to create your own title. So let's say, okay, I'm talking about the performance features. So the title might be, this is not going to be the final title I use. It's just something to have words on paper. So let's say um, discovering. Discovering, you see how, how many times, how the drop down button. That's because I use discovering like about three times on three different articles and they automatically save it. But as you can see, all the um, all the articles differ from the um, subjects I wrote about. So we're going to put discovering the Toyota Camry uh, performance features. That's going to be the base. This is brainstorming right now. It's not going to be the final product. So what I like to do is click overview because I want to give a brief overview within a few sentences just to give the reader an idea of what the Toyota Camry is all about. So as you can see down here, it said the 2019 Toyota Camry is the daring side of dependability. This is how much it costs. So let me go ahead and put that information on it. But with these articles, I like to sensationalize it just for it to be entertaining to myself. So let's say that... um. For now, let's just put the 2019 Toyota Camry um, is the epitome of, of um, dependability, right? Bear with me. I know I'm making mistakes, but bear with me. The starting, I can say the starting price I the um I could say starting at how much is it two three eight four five two three eight four five so that's twenty three thousand eight hundred and forty six dollars all right um I, I, and that's all I'm gonna put. I could say um, it comes in a variety of colors, right? It comes in a variety of colors such as um, supersonic red. What is this one? Blue streak metallic. Supersonic red and blue streak metallic. Okay, I could say there's, there are various models available, 
right? Such as the um, LE, XLE. There are many models available, such as the SE, XLE, and more, well, just to name a few. All right. I could say let's cover the performance uh, features. Like I said, this is not going to be, I'm brainstorming right now, so I'm going to re-edit it and change the article. So this is all I'm going to put for the introduction, for the most part. Um, so now we're talking about the performance features. So I got to click performance myself because they only gave a link to the Camry features. So bam, I got to click that tab right there. And it's going to scroll down. Now, what type of performance is it? Okay. I could say uh, sporting and impressive. Okay. I could say sporting and impressive four cylinder. What is that? A V6 um, engine? Four, six, uh, a 2.5 liter. Okay. It's dynamic force. All right. An impressive um, I could say um, 2.5 liter I could put it right there engine dynamic force I could say a four-cylinder dynamic force and put that right there dynamic force on um, 2.5 liter engine do they talk about the horsepower? No, they don't talk about the horsepower. Um, I could say which utilizes, there we go, the D4S direct injection, um, injection system. And keep in mind, although it might seem like I'm copying directly, this is only to brainstorm, to get information on paper. D4S direct injection system. 4S direct injection system. Okay, so that's one feature. I got to write about at least two of them. I like, I like to do more than just two, just for my personal preference. Suspension. I Multi-link rear suspension. That's what you're looking for. Okay, let me just type that down. Multi-link rear suspension. And what else is it? A McPherson strut front suspension. Mm, okay. Okay, McPherson strut strut engine. Okay. All right. So y'all gonna see how I connect it all later. Just bear with me. Um, direct eight speed automatic transmission for a smooth ride. All right. Eight speed auto transmission for a smooth ride. All right. Bear with me. Bear with me. What is that? Three mode drive. Okay. You. So they got three modes, eco, normal, and sport. Okay. Three modes, eco, normal, and sport. All right. So I think that's all I'm going to put. Let me see what this fourth one is. MPG. I don't need the MPG. All right. I'm done with that part. Now, now I have to say um, something like um, if you want to take this vehicle out for a test drive please contact us i gotta put the dealer in brackets or parentheses um in i gotta put the city in parentheses as well um today all right now that's the me brainstorming that's the base of the article right there now let's look at it again i could say discovering the performance features that the Toyota, let me see, that the Toyota, uh, I could say the 2019, because that's what it is, the 2019 Toyota 
is capable of. It was a little bit better, but I'm still overwriting it. So I could say um, the 2018, the 2019 Toyota Camry has taken a step up, has taken a step up in the automotive industry. So you see how creative you got to be? You got to be like very creative. I could say this vehicle right but i gotta see what kind of vehicle they want me to say because they said i gotta introduce it as a certain type of vehicle here you go right here a popular mid-size sedan all right so let me put that right there this popular mid-size this okay popular mid-size sedan is the epitome of reliable let me say reliability reliability durability i'm just throwing that in there i'm not sure if it's durable i'm just throwing it in there which you're not supposed to do you got to focus on uh, pure facts with these articles and dependability i might take it out later starting get twenty three thousand eight hundred forty six dollars i could say there are a variety of color palettes palettes available or palettes, whatever, such as um, supersonic red and the blue streak metallic. There are many models or trims. I could say I could say or trims available, such as the uh, popular, because they are popular, SE and XLE. I could take I could take out and more and just put just to name a few. Now let's cover the performance features. I could take that part out. That's unnecessary. That's filler information. Now let me get to the uh, middle part. Um, I don't have to say sporting. I could say I could finish sensationalize it a little bit. Humming under the hood is an. I could say humming. Yeah, humming under the hood is an impressive four-cylinder dynamic force 2.5 liter and put a dash in between 2.5 liter i'm describing a v6 engine that utilizes the d45s direct injection injection system to produce its power um the, i could say the ride stays smooth thanks to the McPherson, McPherson, whatever, McPherson, multi, um, what was it, strut? Yeah, multi strut. So let me put a, a hyphen between that, multi strut, um, front, front suspension. I put engine, front suspension, and multi, let me go ahead and make that a small, multi link rear suspension. Let me continue it. That absorbs all the bumps i could say um let me start this like there is a direct eight speed um auto transmission i don't have to say direct i could just take that out there's an i and right right article i think that's the right article and there's an um eight speed auto transmission um I don't know what to put after that. There's an eight-speed auto transmission that helps that helps um tap into the three modes. So you see how I try to bridge um, those two sentences: eco, normal, three modes. Semicolon: eco, normal. And sport I might not use that all right so I got to do it at 150 I'm almost at 150 if you want to take this vehicle if you want to take I, I could say I could, I, I could repeat the 2019 Toyota camera I can repeat that if you want I, I could say if you would like give them the option if you would like to take the paste that 2019 Toyota Camry out for a test drive in city, let me put the city in 
city, okay, I could say contact the, write it again, dealer, dealership for more information. Bam, straight like that. Now, let's, let's look over it again. Discovering, I could take out discovering. I could say learn about, okay, learn about the, um, I'm going to open up um, Power with Thesaurus because I want a adjective to describe um, or an adverb. Am I looking for, a, uh, I guess, an adverb to describe performance features? I guess that's a noun. I don't know. Learn about the um, unique. I will, yeah, I would say these are unique. I, yeah, unique sound pretty good, but let me make sure that these are unique to this specific brand. So let me search for this engine to make sure that it's unique because I want to use the wrong word. Um, yeah, this is specifically in Toyota. You see all this toy, Toyota, Toyota, Toyota Camry. So yeah, it's definitely unique. And the rest of the stuff I'm going to assume is unique. I think this is unique too. Let me let me let me look up this um since it's a name, which is the uh, McPherson multi strut front suspension. Let's go ahead and uh, Google this and see what pops up. Okay, this is just a general. Okay, um, this is this is just generally for many vehicles. They got this on many vehicles. So uh. I can use the word unique. I can use the word unique. I, I'm, I'm just going to use it just to use it. Okay, I'm, I'm going to read it one more time after this. Learn about the unique performance features of the... You see how how how, how I overridden it? Or overrode it? 2019 Toyota Camry. The 2019 Toyota Camry has taken a step... Has taken a step in the right direction in the right direction um i would say as far as the automotive industry is concerned but that's overwriting the 2019 toyota camry has taken a step in the right direction this popular mid-size sedan is the epitome of reliability and dependability starting at um, twenty three thousand eight hundred and forty six dollars there are a variety of there are a variety um color palettes available such as the supersonic i know i'm missing a comma somewhere probably between available and such as the supersonic red and, and the blue streak metallic there are also many models there are also many models available to choose from to choose from i could say all offering different um features uh, i don't have to put that i don't have to put that choose from such as the popular s e and xle just to name a few humming under the hood is an impressive four-cylinder dynamic force 2.5 liter v6 engine that utilize um that utilize a d4s direct injection system to produce its power the ride stays smooth and comfortable. Do I don't have to say thanks. Comfortable due to the McPherson Multi Street. Let me make it bigger. I know it's kind of small. Got the small for it. make it big. Due to the McPherson uh, Multi Strut front suspension and Multi Link rear suspension that absorb all the bumps and bruises. I might not use bruises, but I'm going to read it one more time and then I'm submitting it. There's an 8-speed auto transmission that helps that that helps control, I could say that helps control the three modes, eco, normal, and sport. If you would like to take the 2000, I'll put the twice, 2019 Toyota Camry out for a test drive in city, contact the dealer dealership today for the information for more information bam there we go now this is what i do too Dang, it's been 20 minutes already i ain't even noticed it real 
So what I do like to do is go to grammarcheck.me. I go there because, of course, when you're writing, there are a lot of things that, that you're going to miss. So, okay, so you see what I missed? Reliability and and. I put and and twice. I would have overlooked that. Um, and and. The other ones that you can use that are paste sites are um, Grammarly. Right, Grammarly. I think it's cost like thirty dollars every um every month. It's very expensive, but it captures a lot, probably all, well, well, near all the uh, mistakes you make. So if you're new to the English language and to grammar, you got a problem with it. It's probably good. I used to use white um white smoke. Wait, wait. white smoke. Yeah, that's the English grammar checker as well, as you can see. Um, yeah, they got a package that's a lot cheaper than Grammarly. But I'm just going to use a cheap one for now. So I put two ands, and, and. I think I took it out. No, I didn't. There we go. So I just taking it out. Okay. So singular that utilizes... Or instead of you utilize, I could use uses. I don't have to uh, put utilizes. Uses. That's better. Uh, D4S. Uh, let me make sure I wrote that correctly. D4S. Yeah, I wrote that correctly. Now, when I when I need for for like commas to fix it up and whatever, I always run it through Paper Raider. I learned about Paper Raider from my very first client. Well, one of my very first clients, when I used to write on Elance like three, four years ago. I've been writing for so long, I don't even know how long it's been. It's crazy. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I learned about this website from him, and I've been using it ever since. He said, make sure it's 90% on Paper Raider before you submit it. I will always do that. Got to do more videos about Text Broker too. To really demonstrate to people how this works. So it's basically evaluating the text to see what's wrong with it. So this is what's wrong with it right here. This popular mid-size sedan. This is oh I, I forgot the A. This is this is a popular mid-size sedan. I know I probably need a a, a hyphen between that, but eh, I guess I'll put it there. So 157 words, two dollars and thirty-four cents. All right. Um, normally, it takes me about five minutes to write these. I'm trying to get it down to um, two minutes or three minutes. That's what I'm trying to do, especially when I have a bunch of them in a row. So you can kind of do the math on that if, if I can write one every two minutes. But I can write one every five minutes. So when you times that, you know, five minutes, like 30 something dollars, you know what I'm saying, that I can make just with this um, client. That's 30, 30 some dollars an hour. You feel me? But you got to know about the um subject and you gotta read these long um introductions i mean um instructions very important spend time reading instructions for real but once you get the hang of it you all good now let's on um, read it I, I like to read it like this because i'm able to just see how it looks to the client on their side and i'm able to basically see things that i didn't see before inside the uh, text broker app all right learn about the unique performance features of the uh, 2019 toyota camry i can keep that the 2019 toyota camry has taken a step in the right direction this is a popular mid-size sedan this oh oh that's why i didn't say this is a i said this popular oh i put this is okay okay that's my mistake okay so I put is, this is, okay. So I meant to put this alone without the is, without the a, okay. This popular, this is why it's very important to read it out loud and go over it one more time before you submit it. This popular mid-size sedan is the epitome of reliability and dependability. Starting at $23,846, there are a variety of color palettes available, such as the supersonic red and the blue streak metallic. Now, the reason why the grammar check didn't pick up this sentence Usually there'll be a comment between available and such as is because 
the second part, which is as the supersonic red and the super and the blue streak metallic, this needs this is a dependent like clause kind of you know it needs the first part. And plus, I use a, a comma right here. So that's my break right there. So I think I don't need a comma. All the English heads out there, please let me know if I'm wrong. There are also many models available to choose from, such as the popular SE and XLE, just to name a few. And, and again, I don't need you. Normally, there would be a comma right here, like such as, but this popular SE and XLE relies on this part right here because I'm using the word many and I'm using a variety. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Humming under the hood is an impressive four-cylinder dynamic force 2.5 liter V6 engine that uses the D4S direct injection system to produce its power. The ride stays smooth and comfortable due to the McPherson multi-strut front suspension and the multi-link rear suspension that absorb all the bumps and bruises. There is an eight-speed auto transmission that helps control the three modes, eco, normal, and sport. If you would like to take the 2019 Toyota Camry out for a test drive in whatever city they, they're going to apply this for, contact the dealer dealership today for more information. Y'all might can Google this um, title and actually find it on the website. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and submit it because it seems like it's good for me. Bam. Submit. And that's it. <laughs> imagine. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine spending three days on a 5,000 or 8,000 word article. There's not many of them up there, but you know, and then this, you're ready to submit it. You done did all the formatting. You're ready to submit it. And then all of a sudden, it's just over that quick. Just one second is over. <laughs> normally, it takes about uh, four days. So normally, I uh, submit all my stuff on a Monday and I would get it on that Thursday, if the client does not automatically approve the um, article, and then I can request a payment on Thursday night, get my money on Friday morning. So, that's how it works on here. But normally, this client approves it the next day. That's why it's best for you to get it in at night. And keep in mind that the authors on here, they eat these articles up like Pac-Man dots. I mean, it was a thousand of them up there last night, I believe. Late last night, early this morning, and now there's only like 200. So, yeah, the authors on here eat, eat them up like Pac-Man. The um, instructions are the same on all of them. So let me go ahead and read it. This is going to be the last part of the video. Dear author, please do not pick up this order unless you can begin to work on it immediately. And please make sure to read over and understand the entire order briefing before accepting. This content is going to be a blog post for a car dealership's website. Because we don't know where the blog will ultimately end up, we ask that you please write about the topic outlined below in a very high level, broad sense, so that it can be applied to nearly any dealership website. This means avoid mentioning specific dealership names, cities, states, etc. Unless otherwise specified by the topic, please avoid mentioning specific brands as well. Please write about the topic identified below in a professional manner, adhering strictly to the guidelines provided. Additionally, the uniqueness of the content is of paramount importance. Please make sure that you are writing about the topic in a way that is 100% uniquely worded. However, do not write content for us that's awkwardly worded or reuse sentence in every other word, replace or rearrange. And I'm going to tell you something like this. When you sit up here and you write 60 articles, you have a tendency to repeat yourself. So it's very important that you don't, like, you know, repeat yourself because not only will they pick it up, but textbook will pick it up and basically request a revision. It happened to me several times. <clears throat> Let me continue. However, do not write content for us that is, okay, you need to write content uniquely and creatively. We will not be accepting any orders containing any content that is spun, lightly repurposed, incoherent, or deviates from the briefing in any way. Failure to follow our instructions for multiple orders may result in being banned. Uh, never got banned. And, and, and here's the overview. It said, as mentioned above, this is going to be um, a blog post written on behalf of a car dealership. The blog is meant to engage with the dealership's customers and provide routine content updates to their site. So, you know what I'm saying? They've been going at this for, I think, about two years, if I'm not mistaken. So every year, a new batch of cars coming out. You got to write about them. You feel me? <clears throat> 
That said, this content is written on behalf of a business, so it should be professional, factually accurate, and devoid of personal anecdotes or opinions. Oh, man, I got a real bad habit with that. <laughs> yeah, I got a real bad habit with, 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 with that opinion situation. For real. Um, let me continue. You got to say something like our dealership and our showroom. So it's a short 150-word blog, and you got to pick two design features from the link provided and write about them. And then finally round out the blog post by inviting the reader to take one for a test drive. So these are the things that's okay to say. Like we here at dealership are exciting for the upcoming, whatever the vehicle is. Come and visit us at dealer for a test drive. And it's a mixture of first and second person. First person is um we. We, I, me. But you want to write we because you're talking about the people at the car dealership. Second person is, um I think that's like you. When you use the word you in your and um yeah and then, then they talk about what you don't want to do you want to put no hyper hyperbolic claims name any automotive brands just basically basic language no um offensive uh words or phrases here's uh one example um now nah, i want to read that one all right let, 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 let me read my favorite one <laughs> Let me read one of these examples. I'm not going to read all the examples. It says, um, headline, which Ford Fiesta will you choose? Life is full of choices. Some are easy, but others are more difficult. On the easy side of things, the choices like jam or peanut butter on your toast. On the most difficult side is whether to choose the sedan or hatchback version of the 2017 Ford Fiesta. Whether you opt for the stylish sedan or the functional hatchback, the Ford Fiesta is a great car for drivers in city. Starting at only $13,660, it has a lot to offer. Its lightweight body and peppy engine allow it to reach up to 27 MPG city and 35 MPG highway. Meanwhile, its available Sync 3 with Sync Apple, Apple Link keeps you connected to the world around you. What's best? All of this is available regardless of whether you choose the sedan or hatchback uh, version. So which choice will you make? To see both in person, be sure to come down to dealer, where we'll be happy to give you a closer look. Bam. I finna uh copy and paste this um title to see where this one is posted. Should sure, read one more. I think I should read one more. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna read the um the the fifth one they they put up here. This one is newer. Explore the 2017 Hyundai Tucson at dealer. When looking for a new crossover SUV, what do you look for? Does price play a factor? How about versatility, looks, comfort, and features? If you say yes to any or all of these questions, you're in luck. The new 2017 Hyundai Tucson has been redesigned to provide drivers with more of what they want most, all for a low-budget, friendly price. The 2017 Tucson received a fresh and more athletic exterior update, making it stand out among the competition that largely looks at the same the same to one another. It's also now longer and has a larger wheel base to improve functionality and driving performance. And as always, the new 2017 Tucson or Tucson, whatever, has implemented a te the latest technological advancements throughout the cabin. Interested in learning more about the Hyundai Tucson? Visit our showroom in city today. You see how that work? So if you like a student, you feel me, you in school or some man, or you just need some extra money, they pay uh, once a week, or if you even want to make this your full-time job, you, you can make some real dough on here if you invest the time. If you invest the time and energy, you got to have the mind for it. You got to have the mind and the patience to sit down and actually write an article. I have it. So that's why I, I, I'm, I'm sticking with it and easy for me. But, yeah. So, man, this is a good way to make some dough, man. You're helping people get information out there. You feel me? If you, you know, poverty type of situation, this is this is the future, man. We don't have to settle for jobs in our immediate communities anymore, man. We can branch out to the world where people who needed your skills before can now get access to your skills through these type of websites. Can't ask for nothing better, man. All right? So, I'm done with this. See y'all later. That's how I write an article on Text Broker. Peace out. <laughs> yeah.